Welcome to another instructional video from Neverlast Refiner. Uh, in this video I will show you how to install a number 20 bypass oil filtration system on a 2001 International 4700 bucket truck with a DT466 engine. This kit comes complete with everything you'll require to completely install this system. Installation of the oil refiner brackets and the oil refiner canister. First remove the uh, existing fuel filter assembly and install the mounting brackets to the fuel filter mounting plate located on the passenger side frame rail using the quarter twenty by one inch bolts lock washers and nuts provided in the hardware kit once installed, the brackets should be reasonably level, so parking the truck on a level surface and using a spirit level helps. Next, reinstall the fuel filter assembly and install the refiner canister using the mounting brackets just installed with the 3 8 by 16 by 2 inch bolts, lock washers and nuts provided. Orient the half inch return port on the side of the refiner canister so that it faces inboard toward the engine. Once installed, a small portion of the fender must be trimmed to provide clearance for the hood to close. Next I'm going to show you how to install the engine oil return line. First, drain the engine oil and reinstall the drain plug. Next, install the oil pan bulkhead fitting as follows. On the passenger side of the oil pan, locate a point approximately as shown. Make sure it is a flat spot so that the rubber o-ring will sit flat and seal properly and is low enough to be below the oil level. Using a pointed punch, mark the hole, place a strong magnet close to this spot, and using a one and one quarter inch hole saw and angle drill, cut a hole in the oil pan. Be careful not to damage the area around the hole. It must be smooth so that the oil pan fitting will seal properly. Reach into the hole, um, being very careful because uh, the edge of this is quite sharp, and remove any metal shavings held by the magnet. Next, remove the magnet. Install the oil pan fitting as follows. Attach the nipple, uh, the fitting nipple, to the insertion tool. These are left-handed threads, and slide the backing plate onto the insertion tool uh, with the tabs facing away from the nipple fitting. Insert this assembly into the hole. Once inside the oil pan, shake and pull the assembly to seat the backing plate on the nipple fitting. Uh, pull on the insertion tool and keep the backing plate against the inside of the pan. Keep holding pressure on the insertion tool and install the rubber o-ring. Cover the o-ring with a liberal amount of high temperature silicone provided in the kit. Install the retaining washer and retaining nut. Next, tighten the retaining nut enough to squeeze the rubber o-ring and seat the retaining washer. Remove the insertion tool, remember these are left handed threads, and install the oil return hose assembly. Using the thread sealant provided, connect the non swivel end of the oil return hose assembly to the one half inch port on the side of the oil refiner canister and route the oil return hose down and attach the swivel end of the oil return hose to the oil pan bulkhead fitting just installed. This hose assembly returns oil to the oil pan by gravity, so the hose assembly must go downhill all the way to the oil pan connection. At no point in the routing of this hose shall it travel upward. Uh, holding the oil pan bulkhead fitting with vice grips and tighten the 90 degrees uh, swivel fitting. Secure the routing of the return hose assembly as required with the provided tie wraps. Replace the engine oil and check the leaks. Next I'm going to show you how to install the engine oil delivery line. Using the thread sealant provided, uh, install the 90 degree 1 8 inch street elbow 
and non-swivel end of the oil supply hose assembly to the bottom fitting of the oil refiner canister. Orient the hose inboard and aft and route it up along the passenger side frame rail and aft to the oil filter housing. Next, remove the one quarter inch plug on the oil filter housing and install the adapter assembly as shown. There are two valves on this assembly, the one on the side with a 90 degree street elbow and plug attached to it is for taking oil samples. The second valve is for regulating the flow rate of the incoming oil. Using the thread sealant provided, attach the swivel end of the oil supply line assembly onto the regulating valve just installed and secure it as required with the tie wraps provided. Next we're going to establish the electrical connections to the thermal dehydrator. Uh, first, route the uh, red fused power wire assembly through the firewall as shown and attach the hoop connector end to one of the posts on the lid. It does not matter which, this heating element is not polarity sensitive. Next, connect the spade end of the power wire assembly to the fuse panel as shown. Next, attach the black ground wire assembly to the remaining post on the oil refiner uh, lid heating element and to one of the bracket bolts. Secure the wiring with the tie wraps provided as required. Now it's time to operationally check the system and set the flow rate. First start the engine and check for leakage. Remove the heated lid using a rag or glove carefully it uh, gets quite hot. Watch for oil flow across the dispersion plate. This will take several minutes so be patient. Opening the regulator valve fully and running the engine at high idle will help speed up this process. Once flowing adjust the regulator valve so that a slow even flow of oil covers the step dispersion plate at idle. Once established run the engine at high idle to ensure that the uh, canister will not overflow. If you notice the refiner canister filling up, readjust the regulator valve to slow the flow rate. Reinstall the heated lid using a rag or glove and install the washer and wing nut. Hand tight is fine. Maintenance. Check your oil level and dispersion plate flow rate regularly. Take oil samples every 20,000 miles. Replace the oil refiner filter when oil analysis indicates it's necessary or once a year, whichever occurs first. Oil Analysis For assistance with understanding oil analysis reports, go to everlastrefiner.com forward slash oil analysis or contact our technical support department from our contact page at www.everlastrefiner.com how does it work? Go to everlastrefiner.com forward slash everlastrefiner forward slash how does it work to find out how this bypass oil refiner system works and how it maintains the quality of your motor oil continuously. For any technical support contact Mark at everlastrefiner.com